Hello and welcome back to After Party. Ready to have fun? Ready to drink Lord Satan under the table? Oh, we're not outside yet. Can we check things out? <laughs> Accidentally called my personal demon mom today. Please kill me again. <laughs> okay, it was worth going back there for that. I'm gonna go outside. How uh, long have you been a cab driver or a, a psycho psychopom? Oh, a uh, good long while. Since I've been here, really. You know, it's hard to complain. I get to meet interesting clans, <laughs> such as Spirits. yourselves. Drift in and out of people's peccadilloes. I think my life would make a good CBS sitcom, you know? <laughs> I don't go on many adventures, but... Who is your most interesting like fair? How do you getting involved in random demons get assigned jobs? So, uh, ever take any famous people? Like, who would you say was your most interesting fair? What, like in the last year? Sure. I took a woman who had gotten sent to hell. The first circle, mind you. So, it's not that bad. But still... She was sent there because she wore gold most of her life. Wait, seriously? Yeah, what? some book forbids it. Hey, I forgot which one sponsors. Though. And got the guy admitted that thinks for like no one ever cheated on the second them. century. And the gal that thinks she's gonna run a mid-level ad agency one day. Reach for the stars! Having a good adventure so far? I'm just about to clock in. Just wanted to, wanted to let you know. Just so you're aware, uh, cool. I'm really excited to hit the ground blazing. I think we're gonna be a good team. Uh-huh. And, uh, what does that mean again, exactly? Oh, uh, it means I'll be popping up here and there to mentally and spiritually agonize you. T to the best <laughs> of my abilities. I'm still new. Personal still demons are new. like mayflies, or, or like, uh, dime store gossip kids. They oh, now I hear Chloe. Like fireworks from the Korea imaginativa. The, 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 the pits of, you know, Unus Mundus. But they can only hurt you if, you know, you're, you're too poor to afford therapy. Yeah, it's hard, okay? Animals, uh, plants, give demons something to work with. Most organisms fear being eaten or not dying quickly enough while being eaten, but humans aren't afraid of, like, not making money or dying before using a sex swing. Like, you people get nervous when well, you see uh, a car drive luck? on the sidewalk. How, how am I supposed just, to work with that? Can't you just leave us alone? Can't you just, like, leave us alone? Go play a round of hell golf. Take the take the day off. Can you take the day off from having to go to the bathroom? Then no, I can't take the day off. <laughs> well, actually, some days I don't go at all, so. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you around when you least expect it. <laughs> I don't oh, find you creepy. Him. I find you Carl, hilarious you and cute. You wanted to escape him. You, you didn't like him, right? Mm, whatever, I'll look at my notes. Bye! Anyway, so we're gonna get my ride stuck in a here. crowd, aren't we? I have no problem with crowds, except All right, same six place foot as on distance now. Way. I figure you want to get there spittily lick if you're itching to get home before your oatmeal cools. So, uh, whenever you're ready, we'll head over. Okay, let's go. All right, let's uh, let's meet the Lucifer. Lucifer. Spoken like a true necromancer. <laughs> Next stop, Welcome Way. Alright. So what's uh, Love this what's music. Satan like? Do we do we call him Satan or the, the devil? What's his actually am I caring too much about what Satan wants? It's <laughs> probably not a good thing, right? First of all, take a couple of breaths, okay? Morning stars used to the whole, you know. Wow, it's really you. I can't believe it. Celebrity fawning song is on. Everybody falls into the reverence trap. Cyrus the Great would have shaken his hand. I mean, you can't help it. But there's only two things you gotta know about the little horn, okay? The first is that him and Daddy had a falling out after Lucifer thought he could run the family business better than his old man. He started the war. He lost the war. So he ended up here in Abaddon, aka Hell, aka the place where it smells like a wet anteater even in winter. <laughs> and second, what, he didn't make the rules, but he has to enforce them. Think of him like the first kid sent to detention and forced to become, like, a hall monitor. 
Okay. He knows he's a bit of a goober. You never met he him, like it anymore. but he's evil though, right? But he still finds time to graffiti the bathroom every once in a while. Yeah, um, you never met him. Uh, you're gonna meet him in like ten minutes, Lola. Do you really think I haven't met him yet? That's not saying yes. Yes, I've met the devil, okay? We know each other. Well? <laughs> as well as anyone, I guess. Or both any fairy man. Did you two date or something? You sound awfully cagey. What? Did you two like date or something? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, sweetheart. Satan could find a way to kill a damn cactus, let alone a relationship. <laughs> He's very, uh, committed to himself, let's say. Okay, I can see the lights. Almost there. Hold on. Can I mention how much I love this game? <laughs> oh Broken god. Way. Last stop. Watch, watch, watch your head. In this long ass line. Can we just go? This place used to be... You know, actually, never mind. You gotta do the hike. Might as well let you discover it for yourself. Luke's is the only house. It's the big one at the top. Luke's. And remember, Lucifer. night out drinking, you're just Luke's. a little apprehensive. Songs of humanity secrets only you and your mates know the lyrics to. Have fun. Text me to any cab stand if you need a ride somewhere. I'm usually just cleaning up puke. So. Okay. Why do we get to skip the line? You know, I always get nervous before walking into parties. Like, I get this idea that everyone's gonna turn and look at me right when I get there and just know that guy isn't cool enough to own a pair of sunglasses. Well, don't worry about it yet. See that giant ass line of people? I don't think we're getting in for a while. No, there's. There has to be another way. Well, let's check it out. This is the line to get into Satan's party, right? None other. Uh, where's your sleeping bag and coffee pot? Hold it, come on. <laughs> Guys, there's gotta be some faster way. Haven't any of you seen Adventures in Babysitting? If a bunch of white fourth graders can get into a jazz club... There's a faster way, definitely. We see people cut through every night. Some people. Let's just keep on. Maybe we can convince whoever's at the door to let us in. Mm. I mean, we don't even want to, like, party. We just want to outdrink Satan. Bada bing, bada boom. It'll take like 10 minutes. <sighs> All right, let's try it. Elevator? Um, hello? Hi, I'm Gooseneck. I'll be your first floor carriage for the evening. It's the only way up. Unless you somehow smuggled in rock climbing gear. Yeah, sure. Uh, yes. As long as this is uh, Hell's version of an elevator and not gonna like <laughs> mutilate us oh heavens no but I can understand the concern seeing where we are at all watch your your knees there okay all in great oh shit <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> sorry it's a little bumpy I had quesadillas this morning <laughs> second floor dish mops hand towels and segregated washroom just kidding this obviously isn't a department store from the 40s. You're in hell. Uh. Yeah, what time is it? A half hour after you asked me the last time. I mean, how long have we been standing here, oh. jackass? Standing in line or standing in this exact spot? Pick one. Uh, this is this exact the foundation spot? of a something house like two days. or something? Two days. I thought only Satan lived here. Well, yeah, now. But back in the day, this place used to be the fucking Grover's Corners of nowhere. Yeah, wasn't just Satan. His fallen angel pals and him used to have the whole block. Well, why'd they move? Eh, some folks just like switching up the zip code every thousand years. Who knows? Okay. Uh, hi. Hi. We'd like to... Look, lady. Just because I'm a demon in hell doesn't automatically mean I'm going to mutilate you. Do you cross the street when you see a Gorgon carrying their groceries too? Oh, what? No. No. Are you Whatever. the same demon? No, just take yeah, us yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, just take us up one, okay? Hop aboard, Slim Jims. Two organ donors headed up. <laughs> oh, all right. Take, take it, take it easy. I can't control the weather patterns, ma'am, and turbulence accounts for only two percent of falls. Third floor. Everybody out. Is 
so odd. Hey, so this Ferris wheel from my nightmares looks like it's seen better days. Did the, uh, the other fallen angels, the ones that used to live here, uh, use this or something? Oh yeah, they used to oh, throw crazy kind of... blog parties every night. Until they had, like, falling out or something. Over what? We're definitely sure we definitely don't know. Okay. Good talk, good talk. Don't miss the pit's number one improv trope, the demon struggles. Should you RSVP? Smash Mouth should have called themselves Mouth Smash. Changed my mind. Hey, yeah. Can we, uh. Yeah, yeah, I'll take you up. Don't have any time to learn nothing about somebody, I guess. No, 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 we. We don't. Let's just hurry you along before I accidentally mutilate you. Because apparently that's all we demons are good for mutilate. Okay, we. We're getting a little in the weeds here. Hey, I'm just doing my job. I'm sorry, I, um, okay? We're sorry, okay? We're just just trying to get to Satan's house. Oh, it's all right. It's just this is my shit I'm unloading on you. Don't don't worry about it. <sighs> <sighs> it's been a long night. Cage closing. What's going, going on? on? What are you? Oh, why didn't Satan just make me? Why are we the only ones using the elevator? Satan likes to keep demons employed. That's why. Fourth floor, get the fuck out. <laughs> you said candied apple down here. Nowhere candied apples. Well, no, candied apples would be enough. Since they changed. Oh my god, I'm 1000% sure that ever since they changed the bicker algorithm, my blogs are losing views. Uh, hi, hello. Hi, I'm Ballister, your fourth floor carriage. Wanna go up? Great, great. That's. Yes, thank you. Why are you so nice? Nice and polite. Your, uh, associates seem a bit on edge tonight. Only the bottom and top floors have bathrooms. Oh, okay. Huh? Fifth floor, the Tibbity Top. Zaboma, 616 Welkin Way. Everybody out! What are you doing, dude? Alright. Oh shit. Jerry, I, I mean Terry. Baker's blowing up. Ugolino has an extra invitation. Um, sorry, but what's... What's Bicker? It's the social media down here. Look at your phone. It comes pre-installed. There, see? You can get good info on what's going on in hell. Yo, uh, what's the commercial say? Geotags, user specific. It's a nice way to mm. distract from the perpetual torment. Those puns are about Or us. to just post pictures of your pets lying in sunlight. Purple haired goon and dyed blonde idiot seem oblivious to the fact that there's a line getting the back, no cuts. Hey! Good. Milo and Lola. Still on that mission to get out of hell, huh? I'll Thank just be going into the party now with my special VIP <laughs> invitation. Aren't you coming? Oh wait. Can we go with you? Up. Are you like tormenting us now? Um, hey, can we can we go in with you? You can like mentally torture us in there if you want. Uh, can we just go in with you? You can like mentally torture us in there if you want. Laugh at them, ladies. Do <laughs> <laughs> well, that thing, Lola. Let's just check Bicker and find other people with a spare invite. Okay. Which cool. one is it? Oh. Look, here. There's. Uh, I see two of them, and uh, we only need one. <laughs> Whatever. We'll take what we can get. There's. There's a demon who says he needs help apprehending someone. And a woman, Linda, who says she has an invite to give away. She just wants someone to get her a drink. This will be downright easy. It won't be this easy, but. It won't be this easy. It's not gonna be that easy. See this huge line? If it was that simple, they'd all run off and bargain with these losers. Nah, they're all just... Wasn't it you who told <laughs> me about that test that proved people would wrongly stand in a longer line just because everyone else was doing it? Mm, That's true. Maybe, whatever. It beats waiting around. Let's get back and text Sam to pick us up. Ugh, we are really sore. They got me pushing boulders up mountains all day now. It's good for your hamstrings, but some cardio wouldn't hurt, you know? What? 
Your feet are sore. You're not the one wearing heels. It just... it gives you a little oof. I like it when you're taller than me. I'm just saying, heel boots for a guy isn't the best anniversary present. It's the equivalent of giving a woman the number to a plastic surgeon. I love you, honey, but what I'd really love is for you to have bigger tits. It's not exactly the same thing. Okay, let's go back downstairs. Get the taxi, Sam. Please help us. That was fast. Go! So, all partied out? Normally people are more covered in blood and viscera. But far be it for me to tell you how to live. Hey, Sam, you could have warned us about the eternal line to get in. I heard someone talking about the fucking Joe Law Empire. That shit hasn't been around for like 500 <laughs> years. Oh, we have a plan, though. There's some people have invites, and some people have uh, have spares. So you wanted to get invited to cut the line. Yeah, I don't need the damn transcript. Uh, Which two do you want to take first? There's a demon in uh, Bobbleen Park. He says he needs help catching somebody. But there's also a human woman who just wants a drink. We know so. we can't just do that, or else it would have already been done. So. Ah, classic case of too many good ideas. <laughs> it's a dream's Guess you got some picking to do. I say we do this one first. Let's do the demon guy. It sounds like he needs help. It'd be, uh, it'd be nice to do something good at the same time, right? Maybe we're gonna track down a mass murderer or something? What kind of or maybe it's his lunch. That? But, yeah, sure. Uh, looks like he works at the school. I wouldn't worry about it. But, maybe I'm wrong. What do they think they I usually am. What do you think they need? What school? What school? There's a school in hell. Eh, let's leave the spoilers till your second playthrough. What does that mean? Let's leave all the annoying questions till then, too, okay? Next up, <laughs> like Park. it. This is my second playthrough. Sam, what are you not telling us? So, Sam, you said there's a, uh, there's a school here? Yeah, the Nastron School of Physical <laughs> Suffering and Mental Anguish. Oh, well, okay. oh, great. Where demons learn how to hurt meat puppies like you, most, uh, most of them. <laughs> More pertinent to your personal predicament. Great. It looks like your little soon-to-be friend, Fella, works there in uh, Bob Line Park. It's also where you guys just... just went. If you remember, like, ten minutes ago? <laughs> What's Bob Line Park like? You know, when people aren't being processed. It's just your typical college town. Every spring, the students dress the trees up in goat carcasses. Every fall, the slime moat set on fire. <laughs> Nothing too unusual. Picture South Bend, but without all the secret Nazis. I think at our school they'd sometimes hang, like, socks from mailboxes, so... Yeah, pretty similar. Right totally the same thing. Hold on to something. The, uh, the ties can be a little choppy coming in. Okay, uh, thanks for the info. Well, Lava tides. And, uh, just remember that when you sign for the tip. Lava tights. Okay. So, this place should look a little familiar. You got processed here. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Remember that? When you were processed? Yes, we remember. Of course you do! You don't forget a thing like that. Your first promenade through hell. Alright, the guard post is up there, right above the bookstore. It's usually more busy on a what day is it? Tuesday? But, you know, whatever. It's your story. Okay. I'll be honest, now that we're actually here, I'm having second thoughts. Why? Because we picked a damn demon over a human being. I don't know if Sam seems cool, but it feels like we're choosing a movie with subtitles when we just need something to fall asleep to. But I was just saying, like, I hope fellas, uh, neat and everything, but trying to get a demon to help it's like an unnecessary risk like why make this harder than it has to be right I'm just mad we're doing my plan yeah you're just a little steamed because we picked my plan over yours yeah what a crazy ass plan getting a woman a drink what was i thinking well, come on you know that was more than a jog to the atm that woman wanted something else i just <laughs> don't want this to be a repeat of march madness oh come okay. on we should just go upstairs you were a hall monitor for a month and got half the school's attention 
Serpica would have left some of those. <sighs> Jack Smoker had a broken leg. Do you think he didn't want to get to lunch on time? I was gonna. Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. L l yeah, I'm trying to get out of here, but. Campus security. Hopefully that's our guy on the phone. I need. Um, pardon me. Yeah. Shit, I, I gotta go. Two test humans escaped their pen. <laughs> okay, you two. I know the sack smell bad, but you can't just. We're not. No. Are you fella? Because we're here for the Sarah invite to humans? Satan's party. Your um, vicar post. Oh, that. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm the guy you want. <laughs> Great. Oh, no. I'm Lola. This is Milo. Uh huh. You look a little young. Uh, random question. Were you the detectives on Earth? Ooh, killed by a serial killer in a game of cat and mouse? Why does that matter? I only know what cops are like from the TV we get here. Uh, why does that matter? Do you need something detected? Because I'm really good at finding loose change in my socks. I just need a little help with a work thing. I'll, uh, I'll explain on the way. Hmm. On the way to what? Feisties! The, uh... Well, they call it a sports bar, but <laughs> it's really just a rat hole with six half-broken TVs and... 20 IPAs. So a sports bar? Oh, sorry. <laughs> we sort of skipped introductions. I'm Fella. Okay, we're gonna go this I way. run campus security here at Nastron. <laughs> the job's easy enough. Mostly catching example humans. The teachers use to show students where to shove cattle prods. But recently, it's been the opposite problem. Some assholes have been sneaking into hell, and the fuckers are still alive! What? Oh yeah, these 20 something pre-med idiots will put themselves into comas to vacation here. Oh. There's a real number on the, uh, uh the gateways. Wait, that's actually, like, possible? Oh, huh. You can that's come to hell when you're still alive? Oh yeah, definitely. This place only locks one way, you know, that metaphysically speaking. Anyway. This morning, Debbie down in Dispatch told me the head counts off. One too many. So have to I've figure out which one's ground, not so dead. Gotta be one of the folks at Feisty's. So why don't you just go in and get him? Or her? Because these Waldos are tricky. They know what I look like now. I need someone on the inside. A human to pick him out. And you two are just human enough to pass. You are... Uh, you're you're human, right? That? Okay, that makes enough sense, but... How are we supposed to pick him out? By using the tools of the security guard. Guile, gumption, a photographic memory, and... Uh... I'm forgetting the last one, but it's probably like a big flashlight. So, <laughs> you guys want to help me out or not? If it gets us sure. into Satan's, we're your people. Oh, thank ye gods. I could use the night out. Vice-Dees is just down the street here. <laughs> Won't be a tick. Alright, to walk there. Is it upstairs? I'm assuming it's upstairs. Lead the way, dude. We're not from here. God. Oh, that's School of Physical Suffering and Mental Anguish. We read that earlier, the first one. Alright, there's Feisties. Oh, Feisties is where we came from. Here we are! Before we go in, I've got a memory. Remember a backstory, a cover story, if you will. You two are blasphemers from the plain of burning sand. I've come to try out their hot wings, and I am uh, well, self-explanatory, really. I'm your child, your dead <laughs> child, you made with your bodies. While you were still living, of course, but you, you made me with sex, with your sexual organs. I think is how humans put it. Yes, that's exactly how we put it. Everyone, you understand your... Sure. Yeah, looking looking good. From here, at least. I uh, left my glasses at home. But and last but not least, we should have a password, just in case things go wrong and we have to regroup. Like, uh... Ooh, falcon about, has left about... the nest. The falcon has left the nest. Oh, yeah, cool. That's... It uh, makes us sound like we're Georgian spies or something. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Uh, no, yeah. not that I can think of. You guys seem legit, though. Thanks for helping me out. Oh yeah. Gosh. We should like get a drink after this, right? We should hang out. Um. To be entirely candid, it's been a slow period, socially speaking, for me. 
A lot of times I talk into my phone when it's not maybe. even on. Maybe. I'll say maybe. Uh, maybe. Well, like, let's just see where the night takes us. And if the night takes us away from you and everything about this, then maybe the planets just weren't aligned. Okay, well, we, we'll just, we'll, we'll circle back on that one later. That's, that's fine. Well, uh, whenever <laughs> you're set, let's go. Okay, let's go get this tourist. Whoa, okay, so this is what this place looks like during normal hours? Yeah, this actually used to be a pretty cool dive bar called the Fowler's Snare. Got made into a feisties when the owner tried possessing a puzzle box and got stuck. They puzzle do make box? good cauliflower nuggets, but chain bars give me the fucking creeps. <laughs> I'll meet you at the bar. We should get a drink first. Is that Jason? Holy shit. You're already pulling the ripcord? We just got here. Yeah, well, I didn't know this disguise was so shoddy. Just <laughs> you might not be detectives, but you have functioning eyeballs, and that's enough. Find the person that doesn't belong. I'll be uh, I'll be right outside when you're done. Hey, Felicio! Why do you <laughs> stuff like that, you big fucking weirdo? <laughs> I love that. Okay, let's get a drink first. Welcome to Feisties. Please notice and appreciate all of our playful doodads and shit on the walls. Now, what are you pups in the mood for? Uh. One frightening visitor, please. Get that one. Here's a little tip. You can hold the mug in either. They almost hand. banned these. Glad they didn't. They don't take long to get you drunk. <laughs> Pumpkin girl? Oh no. I'll have the same. Cool. Ho! Oh, you aren't kidding. Alright, alright. Attention, everybody. Look, I know, finding ourselves in hell. It's a bit of a bummer. Boo! <laughs> I certainly wish Michelle and I could have gotten married before our party bus plummeted over that cliff. Uh, Let's not let our untimely death ruin Wait, who what doesn't still belong? be the best bachelor's you? party of all Maybe time. Maybe I shouldn't be drinking, but oh my god. Alright, let's get to investigating. Uh, maybe we should talk to Charlie first. Let's sniff out the meddler. But it takes less than ten minutes. <laughs> hey, after you. Let's go over here. Charlie! 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 What's this guy's deal? Oh, Barry? Barry can never handle the sauce, so we always prank him. Honestly, I think the demons took it a little far this time. What, with crucifying him onto a dartboard? Oh my but goodness. Funny's funny. <laughs> okay. Alright. Talk to Charlie. Right, so Michelle, that was my fiance's name. My angel had the keen foresight to have her bachelorette party at home. She reads in some magazine article that every wedding should have a theme, and she decides that ours is going to be opposites attract. Since everyone we ever met used to say we were polar opposites of each other. I thought it was a dumb idea, but you know what they say, for better or worse. Anyone here hey, Mazeltov on the almost marriage. Thank you! But have you noticed anyone acting suspicious at your party this evening? Uh, why? Do I? Have we met? Cause I don't think Nobody here is we alive. Did. That's classified. That's, uh, DEFCON Alpha Level Classified, sir. We are working directly with campus security. And we need to know, right now, if you've noticed anything unusual about anyone tonight. Uh, I don't know. I noticed Pete's not drinking. And that guy can normally imbibe by the barrel. Okay, Pete. Thanks. To you, dodging the biggest Bar fucking demon. Florida ass white bullet of your life. Malthus, dark saint of the Sora Thor that lasts more than two days. I'll, I'll be right over. That sucked. We didn't get, like, anything out of that. At least we could cross Charlie off the list officially. You think the guy would make his life sound more interesting if he was lying? Let's check out some other, uh, perps. Potential perps. Potential perps. Hiya. You're not, um... Pre-med by any chance, are you? 
Thanks for the stirring conversation. <laughs> uh, wait, oh, we wait, haven't really no. talked to that Sorry. many people yet. We well, you should probably at least Sorry. try to figure out who's the yeah. trespasser, right? I'll be honest, my legs are tired and I just want to take a nap on any bench outside. Come on, don't go to the party dark side. This is the one you wanted to do. Let's just talk <laughs> to a few more people. Fine. Alright. Let's talk to this table so, of people. Greg, tell me again. How exactly did you become the unquestioned Grand Emperor of Earth? Oh. Such a long story. My good friends Han, Indiana, and uh, Richard Kimball were like arrested by the uh, current, well, the previous uh, Grand Emperor Dick Decker. Thankfully, a law had been passed to prevent gerrymandering, and I won the election in a landslide regardless. Uh, naturally, I banished the Fallen King to uh, Dinotopia. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they laughing? Nerves, probably. I, it's not every day people get to meet an emperor, you know? And so is the. Uh... Grand Sovereign of Terra Firma, your responsibilities are what exactly? Oh, this and that. Mostly defending all of humankind from various uh, plagues by d directing uh, disease research. Okay, just drop no. the act, pal. We know it's you. You know I'm who? You're the one that doesn't belong here. Not really. If you mean that it's unfair that a, a, a musculoskeletal disease since birth condemned me to die at a very young age, then yes. Thank you. I agree. I don't belong here. Oh, uh, sorry. Don't be. My sister always says, you oh. don't deserve anything in life but the ability to complain. I excuse me, waitress. Could I have another, another martini? I am not a waitress. I'm also not a woman. I don't know if you <laughs> can see that. Oh, pardon me, ma'am. <laughs> I haven't been this flattered since the last work party at the sawmill. Sorry, I'm Eliza. Are you two uh, part of the groom to be stag show? I'm not sure who's part of, part of the party and who's um, who's buying booze, you know? No, we're uh, auditing, but just because you brought it up and now I don't have to, where are you from? Yeah, actually, where are you from? I haven't seen you around. Oh. A little town north of Betton Strange called um, Solopia, though you'd know it better as Shrewsbury. Man, it's gotten really loud over here, Rakshasas. <laughs> Do you want to maybe go somewhere a little more... I'm good. It was nice meeting you. God damn it. Uh, well, that's my cue, losers. See you on the flip side. Yeah, it's getting... It's getting a little late. Does it get late here? I think I should probably... I should be heading out, too. It's her. Crap, Lola. Both of them. They smell like we're gonna have an electrical fire. What does that mean? Ultra fishy. I told you to stop with those fucking obscure smell jokes. I'm not kidding you. Seriously though, we haven't talked to that many people yet, but Greg was just lying to that demon. Double but Eliza is acting really weird too, and nobody seems to know who she is. God, this is all reminding me of something. Ding, 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 ding! Distant memory bell! What could be ringing? Good question, <laughs> Mary! Maybe it's when Lola was home monitor. Nervous about talking to the taller boys. Or maybe it's when she told on Cynthia Lackey when Cynthia cheated on her algebra test. There's a lot of possibilities here. <laughs> it's hard to pick just one. What is oh, it now? What is it now, Wormhorn, huh? What, you gonna say I follow the rules too much, put some doubts in my head over who's guilty? Hey, it wasn't my idea in the first place, Pancakes. You're the one that remembered something. Wanna know what it was? You were in the 10th grade, washing your jeans. Your dog had just been run yeah. over by a van. And you were thinking that the world was shit and people were done better. And now you're looking around this bar for someone who's probably done better too. I mean, it must take a certain kind of cretin to sneak into hell, right? And now you're standing there, wondering if you're any better. Actually, I was just wondering if I still had those jeans. You do still have those jeans. They're in your closet, on top of the wish chest you prayed on to shrink two inches. Walk her out, Lola, come on. She's, a, she's an undigested piece of cheese, right? The momentary mental disorder. Well, whatever. Just make sure you pick the right gal, local H. I couldn't bear to watch Father Christmas add more time to your sentence for wrongful prosecution. Don't say anything. I'm fine. I really think we should go after Greg, try to get a confession. I don't know. Eliza well, seemed weirder to me. We could split yeah. up. We're not splitting up. We're in a bar in hell. Just pick one. You want Eliza, I think Greg. Want to talk more to Greg? Uh, 
I think it's Eliza. Hey, Eliza really made my arm hair stand on end. Let's let Greg go and question her some more. Uh, see you later, guys. Good to... Good to meet ya. Okay, well, there goes the Emperor, so let's hope Eliza, or whoever here, is our person of interest. Mm, talk to Pete. I think I know who it is. But Eliza. you can't tell anyone about my skin flute accidentally killing my best friend and almost everyone he likes. Is that fair? You're Go on. on Pete. Well, what can you tell us? Okay, that Greg kid would be the first person I'd look into, but you didn't hear that from me. Okay, so we just jumped the gun and talked to Greg first, but let's get another drink. One bang bang, please. One bang bang, coming up. Hey, uh, Eliza? Oh, um, yes? Forget something. Wanna watch the, uh, the... Actually, what the hell are they playing on TV? <laughs> oh, it's uh, like American football, but uh, hell's version, so... Uh, uh, sorry, it's just a little better for everyone involved. Eliza, can you just answer one question for us? Why are you in hell? I recall my dear old brother under the autumn light When he was four and I was more, I pissed him with a knife you're fucking insane. You killed your brother? What? Oh, uh, no, your, your friend's pretty accurate there. I was born missing a certain capacity of reason. Some ducklings wouldn't think it fair me being here. What with my mental deformity. But I couldn't dampen it. It's like trying to not go to the bathroom. Not fall in love. So who's really to blame if we're all paper dolls cut by God's hand? If he slipped a little with me. The sun rose the next morning like nothing happened. And in a way, nothing did. Um, uh, well, you catch Tanaka against the Red Sox? It's fucking Milo. crazy. Sorry. So, uh, Shallow? Milo, can I, uh, get your number? Uh, he's a... Um, uh, sure! Yeah, uh, you phone, but I think it's a 666-555, uh, the three's in there somewhere. I'll just look you up in the directory. Anyways, it's been a gas. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again. Forever's a long time. Well, that's just great, Milo. It's obviously not that crazy bitch who has your number now. What do you think you're gonna do with that, huh? The plan is to leave. Holy crap. Like, date. And if the plan fails? Oh, you're gonna dry hump a fucking whatever. The point is she's not our guy. Well, I'm sorry, all right? Maybe it, maybe it was Greg, who knows? Okay. And I feel like we kind of used all the water from the dish rag in here. Maybe not. I don't know, we can walk around a bit, but I think we should reconnect with Fella, just to let him know what happened. No, 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 I'm, I, I got two humans working on it. it. It's the best I could come up with. They know me in there. Oh, no, no. Hey, how's it going? Any luck catching that creep? I'm gonna be off soon. About to just head out. Cause believe me, it's Greg. I am ready for my shift to be over. Yeah, he's a guy named Greg. <laughs> so, you know how that goes. Well, uh, <laughs> Greg? I was expecting, like, Samuel or something, but don't ask me why. Maybe because that's my brother's name? Uh, that's not to think about it. Alright. Delinquency department? Yeah, oh. Hi, Jenny. Hi, uh, how you doing? Yeah, good, good. Anyways, we found the Waldo. <laughs> yeah, it's been a night. <laughs> Let me He's pile me wrong. Greg. He's at Feisty's right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, you know, no, it, it took longer than I thought it really did. <laughs> Thanks. Say hi to a Dramalek for me. Okay, bye. Shit, I forgot he left her for his podiatrist. Uh, what'll happen to, uh... Oh, nothing much. Uh, they'll probably take him and give him a stern talking to, you know, right before condemning them to eternity in the Ninth Circle. Uh, they'll be <laughs> hacked into infinite pieces by multi-limbed feathered serpents who do not fuck around, let me tell you. I've seen him in action. Woo! You gotta wear a raincoat when you go down there for lunch. Oh, oh sounds... yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. This is such, such a big help. I know you did it just for the invite, but and when you get to the party, you should get that drink with me. You said you'd maybe have with me. Sound good? If um, we have time. Yes, if we have time. 
Just, uh, just pretend you can't hear him. I can hear you pretending you don't hear me, you giant asshole! I'm gonna get played here! Alright, get out of here, you knuckleheads! <laughs> just uh, drop my name at the entrance and I'll let you in. Thanks again, guys! Was I right or wrong? Okay. Are we just gonna follow him now? So, should we, like, talk about what just- You know, Milo, I- I just don't want to, okay? I'm gonna take a mulligan on this one. I just- I don't wanna think about it, so I'm just not. There are some things that are just beyond. Like, I- I really like chocolate milk. I really like it. And I- and I donated a lot of my time to homeless shelters and animal shelters and money to organizations, and so fuck it, okay? I'm gonna enjoy my chocolate milk without any pontificating about how the cows are sad and the workers are sad and the truckers that ship it are sad and how the agricultural industry is fucked up in countless ways. And- and so I- I'm just- I- I am chocolate milking this. Uh, we kinda did this, though. Chocolate milking it! Okay. Okay. Uh... So we got- we got the tickets to go in. Wait! Before you go, it's time for your review! <sighs> what? <laughs> or psychological assessment, or bumblefeed personality quiz. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. You intentionally chose to track somebody down for an unknown and vague punishment instead of genuinely helping a poor soul like Lunda, who is, needless to say, now permanently affixed to an eternal misery due to your direct actions. Either you thought this what? sounded more fun, or Milo likes to just blindly follow Lola around. Which, either way, I mean, I always liked Witchfinder General too, so. Hey, it, it wasn't a punishment, okay? I We wanted to help somebody out. Bella. Yeah, Bella. Linda was just like, buy me a dream. Okay, so you heeded the call of justice, but was justice served? <laughs> it was. Well, sort of. You picked Greg, who was the hereafter infiltrator. Okay. Because now he'll never see his family, friends, or help solve the world's energy crisis. Well, I hope it was worth the free he did the crime. passes. If you get back, I'd start rationing your clean water if I were you. Hey, Greg did the crime, okay? And if you can't do the time, don't drink the slime. What? No, that isn't... Okay! It's totally it. Toy time! I thought you might want to know what's going on in the land of the living. So while you were busy accomplishing this very important mission instead of, you know, getting your ass off the fucking couch and contributing to society in any sort of meaningful way... Okay. A million pounds of chicken nuggets were consumed! Which means half a million pounds of dog food, since, well, that's what, what? chicken nuggets are for the most part. Uh, really? Currently, 3% of fathers are lying about being one. Do you really know who your dad is? Who's the same? Wormhorn. <laughs> Get us out of here. Why are you doing this? Wormhorn, just. Oh, why the fuck are you doing this? Huh? Why am I. Well, it's my job, Lola. It's what I was created to do. Sired by your mom using psilocybin mushrooms when she was pregnant. So, <laughs> fine, whatever. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right. Now can we go? That was a weird interaction. Can we go now? Someone order a ferry. How did it uh, go with Bella? Why the long face? Personal demon dragging you down? Listen, just remember, those things are like cog sickness. And sometimes you just need to deal with it to get to the mall, you know? Just keep your eyes on the horizon. We'll go away on its own. Anyways, <laughs> I saw that janitor, or whatever, post on Vicar. He gave you his invite, didn't he? Yep, we got the invite. We can go to Satan's party without standing in line for a million years. I'm proud Yay! Of not proud at all. I barely know you and care even less. But want to head to Welcome Way? See about that party? Alright. Welcome Way! We're gonna have to go, go all the way back upstairs.
Every man will have his favorite day, but you will know about them. This will... This should be one of your favorite days, I think. A uh, camel hair better, at least, than Bottomless Prize Friday. VIP invitation to Sam's house party, that's, uh... You guys are doing... You're doing well. You're doing good. I don't have any poppers or noisemakers, so hopefully the ride, in my genuine amazement, will suffice. To be honest, I'm even sort of surprised we're actually doing this. I mean, we got the invites. We're gonna be VI goddamn P's at Lucifer's house party. Yeah, something to put on your job application if we make it back up topside. Oh yeah, when we get back, we'll be like adults. Oh, a little nervous about rolling over from Miss and Mister to Ma'am and Sir. And uh, depending on your income level, either having to read train schedules or carrying out the estate tax. No, it's it's not it's not leaving school so much as Milo and I have known each other forever. Yeah, like genuinely forever. We got paired up in preschool because we were the last pick in the buddy system. Oh. Then Milo was staying in town to help his mom in her magic shop. Lola's moving across the country to live with her dad. Sounds like you guys are just erupting with excitement over all the new opportunities afforded by your continued cellular reproduction. Oh, good. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. Without a doubt. So, completely switching topics. Satan's party, huh? Very exciting. Top shelf. Roman Coliseum, Yang Zoo on opium, and mother don't look at these pictures. So. Put away the Ouija boards and voodoo dolls, kids. Because anyone come. that'll be answering is too busy getting their nipples tickled. Why don't you take a break and join us? I'm not waiting in that line. Well, if we find an extra invite, we'll just, uh... I'm not exactly the partying type, kids. I drink alone. Or with one other person. I guess fair enough. Hmm. Fair enough. All right, candleflies. Have fun. You know, enjoy yourselves. Thanks. And, uh, before you scamper off, two things, okay? One. Sam, sorry. Are you, are you on tonight? Are you? Where are you headed? Six circles. Lucifer didn't show up for the inspection last week. And now I gotta make sure the stone coffins are being heated properly. Like, I don't have enough poop to worry about. Yeah, seems like it's a death style now. Wait, what's sorry, your job? what's your job exactly? Lighter ganger, sweat cooker of infidels. This is Milo and Lola. Sweat cooker of infidels. Yeah, infidels. congratulations. I'm foreman down at the coffin mine in the city of Dead. We slow roast heretics and serve them with a creamy potato bake, along with Brussels sprouts with bacon. I'll get that recipe later. Anyways, oh my God. help me out. I know it's out of the way. I'll give you a ride. Great, thanks. I'd swim, but the lava starts hurting if you're in it for too long. Wait, Sam, what were your two things, uh, two pieces of advice? Was I gonna give you two? That seems excessive. How about one? I'll give you one. You wanna hear the first thing I was gonna say, or the second? Ah, uh, sorry. We just ran out of time for both. Let's just wash and bear first. Uh, the first. Don't worry so much about the future, you know? It's not gonna be what you expect anyway. I feel like that wasn't the most helpful. now. So just focus on that while you still have your shoes on. Um, okay. Text me if you need a ride somewhere. Great. Onward and outward, I guess. Uh, what do you think uh, Sam okay. meant by that? Uh, don't think about the future. That was kind of weird, right? Like, why not think about the future? She's saying that we shouldn't worry about stuff you can't control. Like, earthquakes, or a comet crashing into the Pacific Ocean, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's what she's saying. Gray hair, or lose your ability to blink, or whatever. It's not gonna be what we expect. It's the same shit everyone over 47 says to anyone under 27. Huh. Yeah, I guess so. Weird that she'd even care enough to, uh, to say anything. Okay, buddy, come on. Wanna skip the hustle and bustle and head straight to Lucifer's? Satan's blades. Alrighty. Don't, don't hit, hit your head there. Great, good. You do it so well. Okay. 
Sorry, for a big dog, Raiden has a very small bladder, but I get a snack. All right, let's get inside. Invitations, please. Uh, yeah, we're on the list, I think. Lola Wolf for Fella. He's a old demon security guard. Next. Um, Milo? I'm under the, the, the same uh, thing. Okay, move along. There's party favors in back, but don't open this bridge. We did, we did it. it. I guess all that's left is for us to uh, enter the party. Yes, entering the Lord of Darkness's party is what we are here to do, and what we will do. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're here for a thing, and we're gonna do the thing. Yes, exactly. And we'll be fine. So, after you. Let's go. After you, and then she goes first. Um. This doesn't. This can't be right. Uh, hello. Anyone here? Is this Satan's house where the where the party's at? Oh my God. Where is everybody? Does someone want to get that? Oh, it's my house. Hello, you've reached the home of Jean, Barbara, and Milo. Please leave a message with a name and number. Is that and Milo? Get back to you when you can. Man alive, Milo. Your old man's a very, very serious. Okay, Sister Mary Worm, asshole. Ha ha. This is my old kitchen. Great, I get it. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you. Your memory was a good so I had to cobble parts of it together from Marshall Field's display set circa 1950. Oh, bravo. It's highly oh accurate. Where's the damn party, Wormhorn? You know, the whole reason that we're here? Just give it a minute. Give it a minute. Let me do this. It'll take a sec. Light? No, the other light. Oh. Golly gee, it's a regular old nuclear family with two and a half kids. Minus two of them. Now, when you hear the beep, we all say our names, and that's it. Oh, I'm fine. Wait, who cares about shh, 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 shh. Hey, you've reached G. Barbara. And I'm Marty the Magnificent. Stop. Say your real name. <sighs> Don't do anything else but say your name. Say so you wanted to be called of. Marty the Magnificent when you were, like, Marty six. Marty Ellen Duke for a week there. Uh, there was the summer of Charlie. Yeah, so what? It took a while for me to get used to to like Milo, okay? This is the seventh try. Oh, he's his mother's son. He's as blind as Chuck. You realize this kind of stuff is going to keep you from making friends, right? You have to be Ugh. comfortable being yourself, not pretending to be something you are But Marty the Magnificent is who I want to be. And Lola's my friend. Lola's a girl. A girl can't be your friend. Do you understand the difference? And see. It is a complicated relationship, okay, Mary? What do you want from me? Your dad is a dick. Some TV show version of whatever. There's nothing complicated about it, Milo. Your dad's a dick. It's not a. It is that complicated. He just wants me to be happy, and he's trying, okay? He's trying. This is all extremely obvious psycho babble bullshit, Wormhorn. So I don't see eye to eye with my father. That's like a rule hardwired into every animal's DNA. I think even hamsters get into arguments over who gets the last piece of chicken. Maybe. Or maybe he regretted getting you in the divorce instead of his daughter. Because she's a proper lady. And you, Milo, are many things, but a proper man isn't one of them. Fuck. Sorry, you're watching me oh. eat. I'm hungry. Oh. I didn't get to respond. Lola? I don't care if you're scared. We drove all this way because you wanted to see a carnival. Well, we're here now, and you're gonna hit the damn target. Throw the ball and dunk the clown. Mm. I'm not leaving until you do. Dunk me, Milo. Wait. Dunk me. Throw the ball. Throw it and dunk me. Oh, that was Christ, not good. Lean in. Move closer. Dad, will you just lay off and try it? Don't embarrass your family in front of all these people. Come off. 
I hit it. Until I taught you. Throw from the shoulder. Follow through. You know what? Screw this. I'm not playing this anymore. Huh? And screw you, Wormhorn. My huh. dad, he's not the best. But he's not this total fucking monster you make him out to be. And also, give the guy a damn break. He works like a dog and doesn't speak English that well. Uh, you know, I was gonna try that, but it was super racist sounding. And, you know, oh, God. there are limits. Hey, Milo! Is that you in here? Lola, he's in here! Milo, <laughs> Who are you, uh, talking to? I thought there were two of you. Oh, uh, one of you and my somebody else? Demon. Oh, just my personal demon sister, Mary Wormhorn. Oh, yeah. Oh, those things can be real ass like Milo, oh, God, I'm so <laughs> sorry. I turned around and it was, uh, I saw a witch doing a keg stand and, God, I didn't know where you were. Are you doing okay? <sighs> no, it's, it's fine. I handled yeah, it. Yeah, you, uh, you look, you look good. Where's the booze? This party has oh, everything. Awesome. They have a ceiling you here. <laughs> you guys made it. Hey, I was, uh, you know, I was, I was waiting by the, the, the latrine. Uh, you been having a good time tonight, fella? I have had a, you know, a few. I have been a, oh, it's been a rough night for old fella here. You know, Dean Bodis, the guy that called that, you Felicio. Yeah, he, he <laughs> told his school director that he cut the interloper, Greg. Then it was all for the. Then it was all him! He stole all my fucking... All the thunder. We can vouch for you. <laughs> Everyone's thunder! Hey, no, we can... We should totally vouch for you. We can tell him. Or... Or her. It's fine! It's fine! It's fine! It's fine! It's fine! It's fine. It's totally fine. Hell, oh, come on. And the... The thing of it is... Bodice, he and I... We... Used to be good friends, you know? We are just good friends. Just... The best friends. I drive into the airport. Get my oh, ex look at that! Mammograms, and then you just you just keep living, I guess. You just you just keep living. Listen, here's All the, right. Take my you guys. Listen up. I'm sorry. Hey, you're so annoying. Hey, brains! I'm trying to mac daddy on my whole uh. skill here, and you accidentally touched me. That gives me legal party rights to pound you into indiscriminate ash. Hey, he's just trying to get by. You should have tried harder. Uh, sorry. I uh, was just. Oh. So I could hey. remember if you folks wanted Dr. Tibbles by Coco or Omen set of eight. So I just mixed them both together. Oh, hi, <laughs> Tom. You wouldn't be attempting to intimidate Mrs. Sangbong and Lola Wolf at my carousal, would you? Because that kind of behavior doesn't really structure well with the pack mentality I'm trying to delicately maintain. No, 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 no. You're. Angel pack mentality. I was Great. I'll be out on the back patio. I got a terrific stock guy I want you to meet. So, that's... That's Amy. Uh, what do I look like? A dictionary? Okay, right. so, first impressions. Tall. He knows our names, which I don't like. Also, he smells like a burning courthouse. I thought it was more like a hospital basement. How are we gonna do this? You know, you hear you gotta outdrink Satan a bunch of times, and it sort of just becomes something you think you can do. Don't worry so much, Lola. Okay, it's oh, this is too long of an episode. Right? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have this ringing in my ears. It, it sounds like my old math teacher crying. It's been done before, twice before. All right, so it's like saying I can cut my own hair. Ah. <sighs> Let's just no, talk to him. It's always a great party morning, Star. Reasonable I'm enough. having a, a good time. If you're having a good time, Beelzebub, why don't you look like you're having a good time? Uh, I don't know. My face just isn't communicating my interior oh, thoughts. It's definitely communicating. Your head is a master orator. Trust it. I came here to get approval on the Thousand Iron Maidens. Yeah, scary. It's okay. You're intimidated by the size of the order. There's a deadline on this. And if just we tell miss them how much the order, dog where are the buttons going to go? Huh? You want a storm? I can't stalk him with the heretic. <laughs> oh, I'm not talking about work, okay? Not tonight. It's not happening. It's the weekend. It's a Tuesday, Luke, and a school night, and I have kids. Yeah, how do you You just must have a good morning. I honestly, I'll just sign the damn order. If I could, I'd just sign it for you, but I can't do your swooping S well enough. Oh, be so. Come on, brother. I'm joking with you. You don't, uh, he's already gone. And I'm just, uh, talking to myself now. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to stop here. 
just closed out of everything. Great. Hope that it didn't just reset everything. We'll see. So that was after party round two, I guess you would call it. We finally got into Satan's party. Only took about an hour to get in, so that's great. Found Greg. He's going to get played, which I should feel bad about, but I really don't because he kind of did it to himself. I guess I don't even really know what to be expecting to say for the next episode. We'll be talking with Satan. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, and I guess I will see you in the next episode. Bye.